Welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and I'm going to show you how to produce a cylinder suitable for use in you know, maths worksheets or tests or whatever. Uh, first thing to do is to start Inkscape. I'll go back to a blank uh, file and I'm going to close my toolboxes because yours may not be open and show you how to open them again. First thing is their line and distribute uh, toolbox that uh, is very useful. So if I click on that, uh, that toolbox appears. Also the stroke and fill colours uh, menu, they're very useful. Now the first thing to do is to produce an ellipse. Click on the ellipse tool and drag out an ellipse. You notice mine's dashed because I've been practicing for this tutorial. I've set the line to dash, but uh, you can go back to stroke style and up here and set it to a solid line. Uh, if it's not showing up it may be because the stroke is transparent. To change the stroke hold in the shift key and click a colour. I'll change it back to black. Uh, if you want to change the fill which we don't really hear but uh, you just click the colour without the shift key and that changes the colour. I'll go back to transparent which is the red cross in the white square here. Now. Uh, an ellipse uh, can't be edited as easily as what's called a path in Inkscape so I'm going to click the select tool or click S select that ellipse and under path object to path now if I click the node tool which is the next tool down or N you can see there are four nodes uh, which the previous ellipse didn't have it might have had two I think but now if I select one of those you can see it's highlighted I think it's in blue hold down shift to select another one the right hand node and they're both selected. Now click the fourth icon along here, break path of selected nodes. They're still grouped together, they're broken but uh, grouped together. So we'll go up to the select tool, then path, break apart, and you can see there are two dotted rectangles indicating two parts to that ellipse. Okay, uh, now we will um, duplicate that by selecting it, Control D and holding the control key, dragging down like that. Now clicking off, let's just go up to the snap to nodes uh, section in the toolbar. Ensure that um, snap to smooth nodes, including quadrant points of ellipses, yeah that's what we want, is on. Now click the Bezier tool, which can draw straight lines and curves, and you'll see a little confirmation cross click up, come up, click and let go, press enter, oops I'll try that again, click, click, enter and then we have our side of the ellipse, looks a bit uh, thinner so I'm just going to go back to stroke style, I think I had it set at uh, one mil, so I'll overwrite the width one mil, press enter. There we go, clicking off. Yep. Now I go select that, control D, and again hold down the control key to drag across and it snaps on there. Now I'm just going to select this back part of the ellipse and change the stroke style to dashed. If I come down here, I think something like that. Yep, that looks okay and then click off. You can see we've got uh, quite a nice uh, cylinder. Okay, now I might uh, leave it for another video to show you how to do arrows with the dimensions and um, labels on that cylinder later.